So, it's about 5 a.m. And uh, we've got a little uh, dog party going on. We had to say I'd probably put my money on the English Bulldog because he's bigger and stronger. But the little guy. He's pretty scrappy. He's kind of fast. He has no fear. But it's not about the size of the dog. It's about the size of the fight in the dog. As of today, I'm exactly four weeks out. NPC Fit World, so this is my first meal. One cup of liquid egg whites and one serving of oats. 16 grams of PV Fit. There's two PV Fits. There's one with sugar, with two grams of sugar, and there's one that's sugar free, but it still has sugar in it. I don't understand. Uh, what the hell? One has sugar, and the other one says sugar-free, but has sugar in it. I don't get it, but I got the sugar-free one anyways. One serving of oats, eight ounces of liquid egg whites, two eggs. This is my pre-workout meal. The workout that I like to use for my workout right now, what I'm currently using is uh, Amino Energies. I do two scoops, and it's got 60 milligrams, 100 milligrams of caffeine. So that's two scoops, 100 milligrams of caffeine, and then I use five grams. Cold as hell. I will warm up the best I possibly can in this cold ass weather. So let's go and smash these legs. Yes, sir. Here my boy. Back at it. He's kind enough to open his gym to me today. I'm sure I'm gonna be sore as hell tomorrow because it's different machines, different stuff, stimulate the muscle in a different way, so carbs are low yesterday and today carbs will be pretty low as well so the main thing that's going to get me through this workout is going to be my little bit of caffeine and a lot of willpower when energy is low, when carbs are low that's when we find out who we really are this is uh, actually I've used a machine similar to this, but a different angle. This is my first time using one of these. I was always curious, and I've wanted to purchase one in the past, but I was curious about how effective it is, and it's very, very effective. Every machine can be used in five different ways. It's not just exactly what it's for. So that's how you stimulate the muscle. Different tempos, hit the muscle from different angles. That's how you overload the muscle and get it to grow. The biggest and stupidest mistake I ever seen, and it's just ego shit, is a lot of people think the only way to get the muscle is to grow is by adding more weight every week, okay? I've ruptured my pec tendon, the tendon detached from the bone, and I used to have that mentality, but now I learned to lift smarter, not harder. But now I'm getting a nice stretch, come up to the top, bend the knees, Contract the glutes and the hamstring, two second hold. It's time under tension. Squeezing at the top. The intensity level. Legs are hard. A lot of people's legs don't grow because it's a very, very large muscle group and it takes a lot of energy to break down that muscle. So the amount of focus and concentration and energy that it takes 
the, 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 the intensity that, it, that you have to put to stimulate the leg muscle to actually grow, it's on a whole nother level. That's why legs is one of those muscle groups where, you know, there's sometimes dizziness, throwing up, uh, damn near passing out, which I've almost blocked out from a leg workout, but I've definitely thrown up from a leg workout before. level at so are you if you have a, a workout if you have four exercises to do four sets each it sounds like not that much but that's all it all depends on you so if you do three exercises four sets each and you walk out of the gym and you say that was too easy I need a different workout coach no you don't you need a different mindset if you did those three exercises, four sets each, and you feel like you didn't do enough, that's your fault 100%. over and over and over and over. 